from conceiving to carrying it and finally to bathing it. When you understand this concept tonight, you will no longer be worried when you hear uh, people testifying and you say, but for me, when, why isn't my testimony there yet? Let me tell you, when a woman, uh, when a woman who is at term delivers, the one who is one month pregnant does not say, why haven't I delivered also? Do you get this? Is somebody getting this? This is a revelation of the year. I tell you, you, you will not see a one month old pregnant woman crying, that, that, that one has delivered before me. The one month will not cry over the nine months because for the nine months, they have reached term. The one month, they are still carrying it. Is somebody getting this? From conceiving it, to carrying it, to bathing it. So when somebody is testifying about their healing and whatever, it could be that they reached term. They carried it, and then they bathed it, and then their skin was healed and everything. If your skin is having issues, don't be discouraged that God hasn't worked yet. You're carrying it. Your time of birth is coming. Are you getting this? The Bible says in his time, he makes all things beautiful. In his time. Ah, you know, you may be there saying, well, dang, I don't want to be a maid anymore. Like you have been a maid on all your friends' wedding, sisters, hallelujah. Like you have been a maid on this one's wedding. You have been a maid. You are the one who always catches the flower. You always catch the flower. And then you go back home and cry. You say, but Lord, when shall be my day? When shall be my day? I want to tell you, you're carrying it. You're carrying it. You're carrying it. Those that you are made before, they had reached their bathing time. But you're carrying it. You're carrying it. Your time of bath is coming, I tell you. Your time of bath is coming. You need to understand this process. You need to under God taught me this thing and it gave me rest. It gave me rest because I know that when I am praying, like, like in this BTZ, there are some things I've been praying about and uh, some things have been uh, bathed. Some testimonies are already, you know, I'm already celebrating th those kind of things. But there are other things which I, I'm just carrying. Then other things, I'm, I've just conceived. I've just conceived. I, 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 now, is somebody getting this? Is, you know, you, you will, uh, when you get this, it will change your prayer life forever. It will, at, at any one given time, dear prayer warrior, at any one given time, you have either conceived something or you are carrying it or you are about to bath it. Bible says we have read those verses. This is the confidence that we have. When we ask for anything in accordance with it, he hears us. And when he hears us, we know that we have as our possessions that which we have asked of him. We also read in Mark eleven twenty four 24, that, uh, what did we say? That uh, whatsoever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. So the you have received it part, the, you possess it part, the, by his stripes we were healed part. That is conception. Are you there? That is conception. That is where you have the assurance. That is where you, uh, the Bible says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. That is, it's like when... Uh, when a, a lady has been trusting God to get pregnant and she does the HCG, okay? She does that HCG and uh, 
then she sees those two lines. Are you with me at this stage? She sees those two lines on the car thing. Now, <laughs> she may still have the waistline of uh, campus and whatever, but she will dance around the house, she will jump around the house, she will be so excited as if she has delivered a baby. Because the two lines are evidence that conception has happened. She might not see the baby, but he's already inside there. She rejoices. She starts walking around the shops, shopping for baby clothes. She starts shopping for pampas and everything. She tells she can't wait for the husband to come home and tell him the news. She, she starts looking in the house for where the baby shall sleep and blah 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 wait she's just on the power of two lines two lines i tell you two lines two two just like two hmm. are you getting this conception i pray for it it is deposited i pray for it in the name of Jesus, I believe for it. The Bible says, whatsoever I ask for in prayer, I believe that I have received it. So I receive it. I conceive it. I conceive the first day of conception. That first day of conception, it is life. The woman might not see it. Actually, the, 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 she might not even know it, but the life is there. I want to tell you, somebody, that your answer is there. You, you remember when Daniel was praying and fasting for uh, 21 days, and he was praying and fasting, the, the story you find in Daniel chapter 10 and 13, and then when the angel finally came around, the angel told him that from the moment you prayed, from the moment you set yourself to pray, your answer was released. <laughs> the man was praying, saying, where is it, where is it? But the answer was released. But there was the prince of Pasha in between the release and the... Oh, is somebody getting this? After you understand this concept, you will rest. You will rest in God. You will, you will relax in God. You will stop being anxious. Lord, when, when is my what coming? When is my what coming? You will just tell yourself, ah, ah, I'm just carrying it. I'm just carrying it. And maybe I'm on the second month. Maybe I'm on the third month. Maybe I'm on the fourth month. I don't know. But I'm just carrying it. I know. I know. That's why Elijah told Ahab that I hear the sound of heavy rain. He told Ahab that go get into the chariots because I hear hear the sound of heavy rain. For Elijah, the sound of heavy rain was good as rain. That's why he ran and even outran Ab's chariot. Because for him, the sound was as... Uh, is somebody getting this? Kurabo Shandarana. Somebody get this tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, you have conceived it. There are things you have been praying about. The things you have been believing God for, they have been conceived. They have been delivered. The evidence of things not seen, the substance of things hoped for, it's a seed inside there. Now, the rest of the time now, between conception and delivery, there is going to be what is called keeping the faith. You know, there is when you receive faith, then there is having faith, then there is keeping the faith. You remember when Paul said, I have fought the good fight, I have run the race, I have kept the faith. There is believing that you have received it. Okay? So after you believe that you have received it, that faith that you have received it, you must keep that faith until you deliver it. Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Hello? Is somebody still with me? Somebody still with me? Somebody still with me? Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm getting somewhere. Stay with me. This is this is the last part. Stay. With, is somebody getting this? So now, when I, how do I carry this? Personally, how do I carry this? When I have 
when I pray for something, when I get an assurance, how do I know that I have conceived it, first of all? I know that I have conceived it when I have an assurance of it in my heart. I may not see it, but I have an assurance of it in my heart. I, I am sure, I, I can't touch, I know, and, and I'm sure many of you have had this experience. You can't touch it, you can't, but you just know something good is going to happen. Something good is in the story. Something good is going to happen. You know, you know that thing? You know, you just know something good is going to happen. You know, something good is going to, you have an assurance. You have an assurance. Now, when you have that assurance, you're ready for the next stage of carrying it. If you don't have the assurance, just keep praying for it. If you can pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, study the, the scriptures around it, just you know, minister to God, worship God and whatever. Because the Bible says, when you delight yourself in the Lord, he shall grant you the desires. When you delight yourself in the Lord, then it shall finally click in your spirit. Hmm. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? So you worship the Lord, you pray, you pray in the spirit, you pray in tongues, whatever. When you get an assurance, when I get the assurance, I stop asking for it. When I get the assurance, I stop asking for it. I start thanking God for it. I start thanking God for it. And I start now doing a Romans 4.17 on it. Romans 4.17 says, God gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they are. I just hope somebody is getting this. So, I have an assurance, okay? I've been praying uh, for this breakthrough. I've been praying for maybe the healing grace. I've been praying for the gift of creative miracles and whatever. So when I have an assurance, now I will stop saying, Lord, give me this gift of faith or whatever. I start saying, I have the gift of faith. I have creative miracles. My brother is healed. My wife is saved. My husband is saved. Somebody comes to preach to my husband. My husband somehow listens to the gospel. Somebody brings him the good news in the name of Jesus. I now start creating. I start speaking it. I start speaking it because uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Are you getting this? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it shall eat its fruit. But are you getting this? Are you getting this? Okay. So I now start speaking life to the seed on my inside. I start speaking life to the seed on my inside. I start speaking life to it. I start speaking life to it. Say, I am anointed. I have a healing anointing. I am blessed. I'm a head and not a tail. I have this job. I'm going to be a professor by 45. In the name of Jesus, by the end of this year, I will have my three publications. In the name of Jesus, I will do this. In the name of Jesus, my wife has her PhD scholarship. My wife has a PhD admission. You know, that one, I had talked it and now it's there. So now I'm talking the, the scholarship. I She has a scholarship with a stipend. I and you, you, you now speak it. Aha, now Gloria, I want you to keep talking like that. You keep talking like that. Godwin's liver is free from hepatitis B. And you talk like that. When you're talking like that, you're now breathing life to what you're carrying on the inside. And then the pregnancy starts to show. <laughs> the pregnancy starts to show. You start showing signs. Start showing signs. When it is growing on the inside, it starts to show. It starts to show. It starts to show in the name of Jesus. Ah! 
and you speak it and you create it and you speak it until a time a time a time comes for delivery when the time for delivery has come you will know it you will know it that's when you wake up in the morning and the voice tells you go and meet the vice chancellor you wake up in the morning and the voice tells you go and meet the head of department you will wake up in the morning and you say go and attend this conference hey <laughs> for some of you a voice might tell you join upper room church now <laughs> you know, you never know. Somebody might be in the upper room. You have been praying all your way in some place in the well, somewhere in the Gundi. And <laughs> the voice tells you, join this way. You know, you 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 start saying it, you start saying it, and then you just know, you just know that that your time has come. That let me tell you, when and this is it. When a woman's time to deliver has come, whether, you know, whether she does what or not, she has to deliver. The baby, when the baby wants to come out, there is not, you cannot fast. You cannot say, let us declare three days dry fast to stop this delivery. You cannot. When the time for delivery has come, the time for delivery has come. And some of you in this BTZ, I want to re-echo, you are either, you have conceived something, or you are carrying something, or your time for delivery has come. When your time for delivery has come, you just don't know what comes upon you, but all of a sudden, you are, you are visiting gowns, shops, and what? All of a sudden, you are making orders, you're looking at service providers, you are asking around about the guys who cook food, you're asking around about the guys who do the tents and whatever. When you start uncontrollably doing that, you just know that your time has come. When you start looking looking for lawyers who can help you to design your memorandum of understanding for your company when all of a sudden you are always with brokers showing you plots to buy land you know that your time has come child of god when you start preparing the budget and every time you're praying you only pray you know for me when i am praying i knew that my time for manifesting the healing anointing had come you know when i was praying for food what i would be praying for healing for the sick you know i'm praying praying for food but then I'm praying for the healing of the sick I'm praying for what every verse when you you know that your time of manifestation has come when every verse for me every verse I can see the healing anointing in every verse you go in my notes and you find I even have Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 5 for you already see in the five creation there was one but for me there are so many healing revelations there when your time has come every verse every verse has a revelation about what God is doing to you when your time Time has come when your time has come you see your associations changing when your time has come you see your company changing when your time has come you see yourself being attracted to read certain books you when your time has come you're suddenly associate with different people when your time has come you want to pray for with different kind of people when your time has come there is an anointing you're looking for when your time has come there are some people you want to release you there are some people you want to pray with you when your time has come there are some summons which make sense to you when your time has come i don't know who i'm talking to tonight when your time has come you are in this service they are talking about you when your time has come there is this prophet who has come he's the one you are the one he's talking about when your time has come somebody calls you and they tell you i got this dream i don't know what it means when your time has come you start dreaming certain things that you never used to dream about when your time has come you start seeing certain things you never used to see when your time has come they start calling you names they never used to call you i am a shondelebo sandal let me talk to somebody today your time has come your time for delivery has come when your time has come you find yourself in a btz like this when your time has come they send you a message about this btz people whom you never expected when your time has come suddenly people who never used to come to your inbox start coming to your inbox
inbox. When your time has come at the workplace, they start calling you certain things. They start saying, we, we have this opportunity. Would you be interested? When your time has come, you start receiving certain emails you never used to receive. When your time has come, I don't know about, I don't know who I'm talking to. And the thing about timing is that a man of God, is that a man of God can speak your time into manifestation. The thing about timing is that a prayer season like this can bring your timing, can bring your timing closer than you expected. The thing about the timing of God, nah, the Bible says in his time, he makes all things beautiful. The thing that... It's time to pray now. Begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the spirit. It is time to bat things. It is time to bat things. The time for impartation has come. The time for manifestation has come. Your time, when your time has come, you know. When your time has come, they approach it. When your time has come, they fire you. You get a better job. When your time has come, let us settle. You cannot, your blessing cannot be stopped. You know what I'm talking about? When your time has come, they fire you, another door opens. When your time has come, when your time has come, do this your business closes here. There is another business opportunity. When your time has come, you are unstoppable. When your time has come, be a soul. Be a salababa. Begin to pray. Begin to talk to God somebody rabo sanda rabra karaba rabo kosedere for some of you are getting an assurance for some of you are carrying it from month 1 to month 2 from for some of you as you pray you're carrying it from month 3 to month 4 for some of you as you pray you're hastening it from month 3 to month 7 yende bo sekara yende bo sanda raba yere bo 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 yere bo 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 the revelation awaits an appointed time though it lingers wait for it though it lingers Wait for it for the revelation. Await an appointed time in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can procure your mother's healing. You can procure your father's healing. Your time to prophesy. It could be now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your time to flow in the gifts. It could be now in the name of Jesus. How badly do you want it? How badly do you want this change? How how bad did you want this revelation? I release an impartation of the spirit of revelation right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm so sure that God has given me a spirit of revelation. I release this spirit of imp- uh, revelation upon somebody today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, God has given me a healing impartation, a healing grace in the name of Jesus. I release the healing grace. I release the healing anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I usher somebody into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I usher somebody into the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive, 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 receive. In the mighty name of Jesus, I open someone's eyes. In the name of Jesus, your eyes begin to see. Your eyes begin to see. It says young men shall see visions. It says old men shall dream dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to see. Begin to see visions. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to see visions. My word of knowledge, it increased when I started seeing visions. Yendo gosa brakata. Yendo gosa brakata. Begin to see visions. Begin to operate in words of knowledge. Begin to operate in, in the gifts. I release gifts. You see, one of the things that the apostolic grace does, the apostolic grace calls out people's gifts. The apostolic grace calls out people's gifts and callings. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call out every gift. I call out your gifts and your callings. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release you to start walking in your calling. I release you to start walking in your gifting. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release you to start operating in your calling and anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release you out of oblivion. I call you out of oblivion. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call you out 
of oblivion. I call you out of stagnation. And I call you out of stagnation. I call you out of complacency. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Release. Release them, Lord. Release them into their destinies. Release them into their destinies. Release them into their destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Step into it, child of God. Step into it, child of God. Creation has been waiting for your manifestation. Creation has been waiting for your manifestation. Step into it. Step into it. Be bold. Be courageous. Be bold. Be courageous. Step into it. Step into it. Step into your destiny. Step into your calling. Step into those things that you see when you when you're sleeping. Those things that you dream about. Those visions that you see. Child of God, gather the courage. Step into them. Start operating in them. In the mighty name of Jesus, step into it. Step into it. Lives have been changed by men who were courageous enough to step into their destiny. Ayo robo shandaraba. Ayo robo shandaraba. Ayo robo shandaraba. Ayo robo shandaraba. Step into it. Step into it. Yere bo shandaraba. Yere bo shandaraba. I release an impartation of courage. I release an impartation of boldness. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Step into your leadership anointing in the name of Jesus. Step into your miracle ministry. Your miracle ministry. Step into it. Step into it. Write that proposal. Write that grant. Step into it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Step into it. Write that concept. Share that concept. In the name of Jesus. How knows? How you know? Say How you know? Hoseka. How you know? Hoseka. How you know? Hoseka. Roha Koma. How you know? Hoseka. Roha Kosa. 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 Step into it. Oh, step into it in the mighty name of Jesus. Step into it. Step into it. Get the business name. Step into it. Get the company name. Step into it. Register the company. Step into it. Register the business. Yonre Rohoka. Step into it. Put in the application. Step into it. You say I don't have fees. God has them. In the name of Jesus. You say I don't have connections. God is connected. You say I don't know anybody. God knows everybody. Step into it. Step into it. Step into your consultancy. Step into it. Step into it. We are a generation of world changers. We are a generation of world shakers. Step into it. In the name of Jesus. Step into it. Step into it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, arise and shine. Arise and shine. Name it. Name it. Give it a name. Draw the plans. Get an architect to draw for you those building plans. You're not too old to build a house. You're not too old to have your own house. You're not too old to start ministry. Go into the choir. Join the choir. Join the ushers. You're not too old to be in ministry. You're not old to be a Sunday school teacher. Step into it. Ayosanda. Step into it. Lebosha. Lekonde. Lekonde boka. Lekonde boka. Lekonde boka. Lekose broka. Lekonde bohakaya. Lekonde bohakaya. Reho kaba. I tell you, an impartation is being released. An impartation is being released. The people who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do great exploits. We are those people. We are those people. We are those people. Who else would it be? Who else would it be? We are those people. We are those people who know their God. We are those people who know their God. We shall be stronger and we shall do great exploits. I release you, child of God, to walk into the life of exploits. I release you, child of God, to step into a life of exploits. This year, it shall be exploit after exploit. This year, it shall be exploit after exploit. You shall do things that people have not done in your family before. You shall do things that 
that people have not attempted in your family. Ah, step into it. Ah, step into it. I say you'll get married. I say you'll never. Why, sh why shouldn't you? In the name of Jesus. I say you'll get married. In the mighty name of Jesus. Why shouldn't you? The Bible says they shall all have their mate. Each one of them, they shall all have their mate. You shall have your mate. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who said you shouldn't? In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, step into it. Ah, broka seko rebo sata. Broka seto rebo konde broko seta. Broka le sote brosaka. Brose la bakosa. Brose la bakosa. Rabrochete. La brokose rebrochete le brokosa. E le brokose rabrokosete le. Rabromokosete le brocheta. Rebrokoseta. Step into it. And the bosete brocheta. Receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Promante prose prone mosa prote. Promanto celebro mantole. Prose no preson ne lebroseta. Promanto lo se brocheta. I just saw somebody in a graduation ground, a graduation gown. You shall graduate. I know there have been obstacles. There have been obstacles. O rebo satalara. But I saw you graduating. I saw you in a graduation. I'm even rejoicing and dancing with you. And no bosata. Yes, there have been obstacles. Baro sekera. But they have been removed. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, I saw somebody in a graduation. I saw somebody in a graduation. And the bokosa, and the bokosa crepa konde kasopreka konde rakola. I know there have been obstacles, but they have been removed. They have been removed. Hey, the bokose kete, the bokose kete, the bokose kata, the bokose kata la laba. I scatter, I scatter. Right now, I'm scattering. I'm scattering every obstacle that the enemy has put in your way. I'm scattering. I'm scattering. I see like different rocks. Different rocks have been in people's destinies. Different rocks. Whatever you, whenever you try to move, there's a rock. Whenever you try to move, it's like there's a rock. Something hinders you. I'm scattering them. I'm scattering them right now. The road is being cleared. The way is being cleared. Hey, hey, hey. The way is being cleared for you. The way is being cleared for you. Where Every rock is being removed. Every rock is being removed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every rock is being removed. Every rock is being removed. Hey. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pro de haka taka. Pro de haka sakaraba. Pro de haka sakarobe. Abrohoko soko ropla, abrohoko soto roho, ebroheko seko robo hoko, araha brohoko soko, reheke bebe beheko sata, erohoko broko boko teha, ereha gaba baba, urehe bobo, brohani mama, jende broho de keseka, uraha baba, uraha baba, glory, 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 glory. Every rock is being scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive, 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 receive. Preto hakata, preto hakata, preto hakataka, reho kose brokata, reho kosata. Receive, receive, receive. Atos, basondo. The reproach is rolled away. The reproach is rolled away. In the name of Jesus, the reproach is rolled away. God is rolling away from you. The reproach of Egypt, the reproach of Egypt. You know when they entered the promised land, when they circumcised and then after they got circumcised, every male was circumcised. Then God says, now the reproach of, is, of, of Egypt has been rolled away in the name of Jesus. I tell you, we have been undergoing some kind of circumcision in this BTZ. The flesh has been getting circumcised. I say the reproach is being taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. I say the reproach of Egypt is being taken away. I say the reproach. I say the reproach. All those accusations that the enemy keeps bringing to your head. They are being rolled away in the name of Jesus. All those accusations in the Bosata, the accuser of the brethren is being overcome right now. The accuser of the brethren is being overcome right now. All those accusations of the enemy, we cancel them in the name of Jesus. We cancel every accusation of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Hey, glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lord in the highest. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit now. Be filled with all kinds of gifts in the name of Jesus. Be filled. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 